The anticipation for Patek Philippe to integrate a grand complication into the Nautilus spanned over four decades. From carefree childhood days to contemplating the need for a will, 42 years is indeed a significant passage of time. Finally, with the introduction of the 5740G, the anticipation has been quelled. Both the Nautilus and the Perpetual Calendar Complication hold esteemed positions in Patek Philippe's illustrious history. It's remarkable that their paths hadn't converged earlier. Notably, the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, a close rival to the Nautilus, received a Perpetual Calendar just 11 years after its inception in 1972 and has maintained one ever since. In the rich tapestry of orological history, Patek Philippe holds the distinction of being the pioneer of wristwatches. This might come as a surprise to some. The year was 1868, when the Swiss legend introduced the world to its first wristwatch. Not merely a wristwatch designed for men or a wristwatch for a specific purpose, but the very first wristwatch, period. This groundbreaking creation took the form of a lady's bangle adorned with a minuscule caliber 7.36.8. The watch's display was concealed beneath a decorative flap, ingeniously blending functional timekeeping with ornamental elegance. This innovative timepiece heralded the dawn of a new era in watchmaking, marking Patek Philippe's pioneering spirit and its relentless pursuit of orological excellence. Patek Philippe's legacy in orology extends beyond its pioneering introduction of the wristwatch. The Swiss Mason also holds the distinction of introducing the world's first wristwatch with a perpetual calendar, a orological complication that remains a hallmark of odd orlogery. The journey to this milestone began with the creation of a small perpetual calendar movement by Patek Philippe. As early as 1898, the watchmaker produced its first perpetual calendar movement, the Caliber 9795. However, this remarkable feat was not initially intended for a wristwatch. Instead, it was crafted for a pendant, a testament to Patek Philippe's innovative spirit and technical prowess. By 1925, as wristwatches gained popularity and pocket watches began to wane in fashion, Patek Philippe seized the opportunity to merge its perpetual calendar movement with a wristwatch. This historic decision marked the birth of the world's first wristwatch with a perpetual calendar, cementing Patek Philippe's reputation as a trailblazer in orological innovation and craftsmanship. The Nautilus represents Patek Philippe's response to the evolving landscape of luxury watchmaking in the 1970s. As the era witnessed a shift in consumer preferences towards chunky stainless steel sports watches, Patek Philippe recognized the need to adapt its offerings accordingly. In a strategic move to capture this emerging market segment, Patek Philippe enlisted the expertise of renowned watch designer Gerald Genta. Genta, who had previously designed the groundbreaking Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, brought his visionary talent to bear on Patek Philippe's new venture. The result was the Nautilus, a bold, sporty timepiece that defied convention with its stainless steel construction and distinctive porthole-inspired design. Introduced in 1976, the Nautilus embodied a fusion of elegance and athleticism appealing to a new generation of watch enthusiasts seeking versatility and performance. With the introduction of the Nautilus, Patek Philippe not only expanded its product portfolio, but also solidified its reputation as a forward-thinking and innovative leader in the luxury watch industry. Today, the Nautilus remains an icon of orological excellence, continuing to captivate collectors and aficionados with its timeless design and exceptional craftsmanship. The Nautilus 5740 represents the culmination of Patek Philippe's rich orological heritage, combining elements that have been in the making for over a century and a half. However, when it comes to the specific combination featured in the 5740, there may be a sense of familiarity, rather than novelty. In terms of design, the 5740 bears a striking resemblance to its predecessor, the 5711, with its iconic Nautilus case crafted from white gold. 
The addition of hidden pushers on the lugs to control the perpetual calendar adds a discreet touch of functionality to the otherwise sleek exterior. Despite the incorporation of these additional features, the overall dimensions of the case remain largely unchanged, underscoring Patek Philippe's commitment to maintaining the Nautilus's signature aesthetic. The heart of the 5740 is powered by the Caliber 240Q movement, a reliable and renowned mechanism that's been in use since 1985. Based on the Caliber 240, which predates it by several years, the 240Q demonstrates Patek Philippe's dedication to refining and enhancing its existing technology to meet the demands of modern watchmaking. The dial of the Nautilus 5740 pays homage to Patek Philippe's grand tradition of orological innovation by incorporating elements from iconic timepieces like the 5327 triple subdial layout. This fusion of classic design elements with a distinctive Nautilus aesthetic underscores the brand's commitment to celebrating its rich heritage while embracing modern advancements in watchmaking. While the absence of the smoky gradient from the original may be noted by enthusiasts, the dial of the 5740 serves as a visual testament to Patek Philippe's legacy of craftsmanship and excellence. Rather than striving to introduce groundbreaking innovations, the 5740 encapsulates the essence of Patek Philippe's achievements over the past 150 years, offering enthusiasts the opportunity to admire and appreciate the brand's remarkable journey through the art of watchmaking. In essence, the Nautilus 5740 is more than just a timepiece. It is a symbol of Patek Philippe's enduring legacy, a celebration of its revolutionary contributions to the world of art or lodgery, and a tribute to the timeless elegance and sophistication that define the brand's identity. It's true that the last example isn't necessarily groundbreaking in a broader context, especially considering the influence of the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. However, for Patek Philippe, known for its tradition and classicism, it presented a significant challenge. Given the brand's history of understated elegance, creating something that prioritized form over function was uncharted territory. This applies to all aspects of the watch. It was the first wristwatch created in an era dominated by pocket watches, such an unlikely transition that the dial was initially obscured by a diamond of the same circumference. And it was the first wristwatch with a perpetual calendar, a grand complication for which Patek Philippe was highly esteemed, now presented in a form factor primarily valued for its utility. It appears that the Nautilus 5740 offers a different perspective on Patek Philippe's history than initially anticipated. These three milestones, their first wristwatch, the first perpetual calendar wristwatch, and the first Patek Philippe sports watch represent significant leaps into unknown territory, making the 5740 special. In its 180 years of existence, Patek Philippe has seen numerous other watchmakers, even great ones fade away. The 5740 quietly demonstrates why Patek Philippe has endured. It's not enough to be simply good, you must strive to be the best. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If there are any other watches you'd like to see reviewed, please let us know in the comments below. And that wraps up our video. Thank you for joining us here at Venti Chic. Don't forget to leave a like and comment on this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on future releases. See you in the next video.